What's going on guys? I'm gonna be uh, tying a new little black crab fly that, I, uh, that I've really been enjoying lately. As we get closer to fall, um, kind of darker black colors become my, uh, my primary go-to fly to start with. You know, a lot of that grass starts dying and we just have sandy, muddy bottoms and a uh, little dark crab fly that gets straight to the bottom real quick is going to be, uh, you know, we're, my angler will see it real, real easily and then also the fish see it real easily. Um, so it's going to have a little bit of weight to it, not, not too heavy where it's going to splat and scare those fish off, but just enough to get it to the bottom nice and quick and, and uh, that, that good crabby profile. Um, so to start out, we're going to be using a uh, size 1 SC15. Gamakatsu hook and uh, I'll be using thread which is a, a 210 denier so the start gets you a little nice thread base going on For our flash, I'm going to be using a dyed UV polar chenille, olive brown. And this is the longer stuff. It's probably, let's see, half an inch to an inch long polar chenille. Doesn't say on the bag, but yeah, it's the longer stuff. And this will be the only flash I put into this fly. right off the back side. Just go ahead and wrap that around. If you want to build a nice little nice little base here. This is what's going to make our uh, our silly legs, which is going to be our claws kind of flare out sides so as you're wrapping make sure you're wrapping all those fibers backwards so they kind of stack on top of each other you only need about four or five wraps secure that in all those fibers back start wrapping them again get that nice and nice and tight alrighty so for my legs or my, my claws I'm gonna be using barred fire tip silly legs orange tip got these from Swan Point Landing here in Rockport All right, get two of them. Double those over. Make sure they're coming out of either side and wrap those all the way back to where you kind of started that base for that flash. And that's gonna help them stay flared out. Before I get any further, I'm gonna go ahead and tie my eyes on. And for my eyes, I'm using uh, these lead eyes, black, solid black, extra small. More weight than a uh, than the bead chain, but not excessively heavy.
And when you're doing this, I, I like to put a little little weed guard on, so make sure you're giving yourself a enough room up front to put that weed guard on here in a bit. I like to hit it with a little zap a gap too to make sure those eyes don't do a whole lot of spinning around on us. As you can see they're already trying to a little bit. Back half of my body, I'm using a three inch foxy brush. And this is just the, the black brush. Start wrapping that forward. Get your little brush, whatever you use to brush out fibers and keep brushing all those backwards. Just keep stacking them on each other. I'll do this fairly thick just because we will be coming back with the scissors and cleaning this up a little bit just to help everything kind of flare out the sides. This kind of also helps give us a good crab profile. Careful not to rip your rip your legs off. So once you have enough wraps on there, I uh, didn't count but it's probably six or seven. Go ahead and secure that down. Brush these out again. And then a lot of times right here, because I have less material on, right down the middle on this back, cut that middle section out, and that just helps keep everything flared out to the sides. Uh, and then for the rest of my body, what I'm using is uh, some tarantula brush. This is just the one inch. And this is also black. And I've already got some out. Same thing, just go ahead and wrap that around. Just keep building that body.
Again, get your brush, brush everything back. It'll come out real nice. And again, I'm gonna do this real quick before I uh, before I put my weed guard on, it's just to help it flare out the sides. Do it to that top side too. You don't want the this top side to be bushier because then it's gonna try to make that fly ride with the hook point down. So you always want that top side a little bit flatter, which is the back side. So for my weed guard, I'm just using some 40 pound mono. Just get yourself a big spool of that, nice and cheap. It's about a two inch long piece. And what I like to do is I'll pinch it in my vise to get it nice and flat. That's gonna help it bend and secure that hook a lot better. Just sort of securing that in there. On that back side, build up that base to help it stand up. Hit it with a whip finish. A couple times. Kind of shorten those up. There you go. Got your weed guard. Again, hit it with a little zappa gap. Keep everything in place. Tighten it all down. That's it. Nice little black crab fly. Ooh, last thing is shorten up those claws a little bit. There it is. So black mud crab. Easy enough. Very effective. Hope y'all enjoy it.